Oh god, nobody's here, but the song's gonna end. Oh no! We're gonna have to listen to more Deltarune music! I, I wanted it to be the, the world revolving to, to, to be going along to this, but then the world revolving stopped and uh, we went on to the spirit music instead. This is a great, great track, by the way, from the Deltarune OST. Oh my god, I paused it at the exact second. Like, literally, I saw the little pause thing come up on the screen. It's like, oh, you hit the pause button, but it still went over to the next video because I did it the last possible time. The gray fruit rotates in my mind. Yeah, uh, to anybody who doesn't get what the hell this image is, it, it's this, there's this stupid thing that trends on Twitter like roughly once a year for like the last three or four years. And it's like, it's like, oh, different, uh, how different people uh, visualize things in their mind. And it's like a it's like oh you're thinking about an apple and it's like some people can't literally can't visualize an apple and then some people think about a gray outline of an apple some people think about a black and white apple some people see a like less detailed apple and then some people see like the 3d deluxe apple in their minds <laughs> and i i'm sorry but uh it just seems fucking ridiculous like it just <laughs> I always, every time it comes up, I always, like, shit on it because I'm like, guys, what are the rules? Like, do we have any idea what we're talking about when we try to describe abstractions of thought in our brains? Like, what the fuck do you mean? And some people are like, oh, well, I, I like, see it. It's like seeing with my eyes. And I'm like, okay, homie, what you're describing there is called hallucination. Okay, <laughs> you, you are not, and I quote, seeing it like you see it with your eyes. I just think people have, like, like, listen, do people, do different brains visualize things differently? Probably. I also think people are absolute dog shit at describing an abstraction in their head. I don't know. So... Uh, somebody made this lovely. This is from Checker D D D. Checker D D D. Yeah. Uh, who made a version with with fruit? <laughs> and it says one's quantity of hair does not determine their ability to imagine slash rotate a grapefruit in their mind. Uh, uh, yeah, especially yeah. The middle parts are what's especially fucking obnoxious. Where it's like, who the fuck? is like, yeah, I see a black and white apple. Oh yeah, my brain can't remember what the color red looks like. It's like, what? Literally, who does that? And it's always like, it'll always be some like engagement based bait post where like somebody will post this and be like, wait, you guys actually like see stuff in your mind? Whoa. And then you get a bunch of like white chicks commenting on it being like, yeah, I guess, I don't know. My brain is just like so fantastic. I guess it's like a superpower or something. I don't know. I just like, it's like seeing it in my brain. And I'm like, <sighs> Like, I don't know. Like, there might be some level of truth to this sort of thing, but I just feel like people, like, your random, like, frappe sipping normie has no fucking clue how to describe something. It's like a similar thing with dreams. Sometimes people, like, I used to have this coworker who was like, when I worked at Jimmy John's, who would always describe their dreams in such a way that it's like the script to a movie where it's like oh yeah everything was like hyper detailed i remember what color shirt i was wearing and i remember what 
uh, exactly the lines of dialogue that were said and stuff. And I'm like, man, when I have a dream and I wake up, like, I know it's like, you're supposed to write it down right when you wake up, I guess. Cause then like, it like slips out of your memory, but it's like, <laughs> I find it so hard to believe that people have dreams this detailed and like that you, okay, maybe you have dreams that detailed. You remember that shit? without writing it down like right after you wake up that's just so bizarre to me like i don't know I, like the it's the lines of dialogue it's like your brain generated a script in real time and like voice acted it and everything and it's like a long conversation and it's like huh actually you know speaking of dreams i had a dream last night and i remember it was like Oh, God. Here's my, like, very hazy sort of memory of my dream just last night. Is I was in my, like, childhood bedroom. And I was sticking my head out the window looking at the roof below. And it was, like, on fire. Like, the roof is on fire, Lamau. And I remember this was an extremely rare case of me in a dream being like, am I fucking dreaming right now? What is this? And I remember very specifically, I pinched myself like a fucking cartoon character. And I was like, doesn't hurt. And then I was like, yeah, this is probably real life anyway. <laughs> like, I remember in the dream being like, hmm, I did the pinch test, but I don't believe it. <laughs> and then I woke up. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I always, okay, this, this is going to sound super, like, rude, but a lot of times, I know I just told a dream story, a lot of times when people are telling me, like, about a dream they had, I'm like, oh my god, I don't fucking care, <laughs> too, <laughs> like, I'm like, I just don't give a shit, man, like, uh, good for you, I don't know. <laughs> That's, I, I, like, I don't say that, but in my head, I'm always like, I just could not give less of a shit about this because i there's always that undertone of like oh like you, i'm trying to like psychoanalyze myself you know and like oh there's like some deep symbolism in here some people say it like that in that kind of tone you know it's like i just don't care like if you think there's some meaning in your dreams that's cool i'm pretty sure it's just your brain sorting information from the previous day though it's like parsing you're basically parsing do you think that with bella bella doesn't tell me about her dreams because bella's awesome I love her. Okay, we're gonna play Isaac, by the way. Nine minute long brain rant. <laughs> yeah, it's just your brain having a little bit of fun. Okay, uh, can we see the game? Thank you. All right. Still playing some Fiend Folio. Uh, just, you know, I've been doing sort of like homeworky streams lately and I just want a little bit to relax uh should I play a tainted character should I play the fiend should I try to should I finally try the fiend let's try the fiend he's like a challenge character I'm pretty sure oh I can have normal health as this character okay uh, hold on, I guess it said the rules on the ground there. Oh, there's a shop chest in the treasure room. Uh, maybe a little quiet. Hold on. Isaac, I, I don't know if it got updated or something, but it all of a sudden, in windowed mode, doesn't let my mouse leave the screen. Just all of a sudden, that's never been a thing before, but suddenly it is. Okay. So, move attack, friends, item, double tap. Double tap? I'm doing it and nothing's happening. Maybe it's like after I take damage and my little fiends are out. Cause it's like this purple heart. Oh, weird. I thought those were obstacles. Uh, it's just a weird reskin spider web. To my knowledge, the way this purple heart that I have works is, uh, when I get hit... Well, that was weird. Huh. 
the sticky effect stays on you with those black spider webs. Uh, it's like if I get hit, then the purple hearts are gonna like drop on the ground and turn into little goblins that like attack your enemies for you. What the fuck? I just got a wisp? See, so there's the little goblin. Oh, and I double tapped. I shot like a fire wisp. We saw those in a previous stream. Weird. So this will be a bit of a journey of discovery for me. Nice, the, the fucking familiar that I had. I, I used that perfectly. So, uh, chat, could, uh, give me a little bit of advice here. What is spawning the fire wisp? Nice. Hold on. I see I see chat moving out of out of my periphery. Is it just like over time? Hold on. Your character just does that. Yeah, but like dealing damage. Okay. Okay. Uh this one honestly seems like not a very good item. It's a one damage up actually though. That's fine. It's just the, like, Smash Bros. knockback is, uh... I, in the two runs where I've had this item, it's got kind of annoying. Oh. I assume I have... Oh, I get a little Hungry Box bandana. That's cute. Uh... Oh, gotta blast the stink pot. <laughs> what are these little fingers? <laughs> That's a new enemy. Oh my god, I'm even punching the fires. I learned from the, like, semi-frequent Isaac Facts Twitter some whack shit about blue fires. Oh shit. No. Whatever. I love punching the fire. Uh... Oh yeah. Apparently, blue fires... It's like normally shooting tears at them does nothing, right? Oh, look at this Mario 3 enemy. Uh... But it turns out that they just have instantly replenishing health. So, if you have the pause button and some kind of way of dealing damage to the fire without actually shooting, which would, you know, activate, it would make the pause button. Oh, I see. You're supposed to, like, release that guy at the other guys. That's cute. What a neat room. Uh. So if you have, like, the finger and the pause button, and you just pause the game, then, uh... You can actually put out blue fires with damage, instead of bombing them. It's fucking whack. Will you be streaming Mario Wonder? Uh... I... Probably, yeah. I don't know if I'll do it, like, the instant the game comes out. Maybe I will, I don't know. I'm like, decently excited for it. Okay, mystery gift I'll just take. Uh... People are extremely hype about that. I'm gonna test something real quick. Okay. Uh... People are extremely hyped about that game. I'm like, fairly hyped? I don't know. Oh, there was a projectile, fuck. Honestly, to me, it, uh, the way I am perceiving it is it's, like, slightly, it's, like, slightly more creative New Super Mario Bros. game. Like, it's it, with, like, a fresh coat of paint. I'm sorry if that comes across a tad reductive, but... Okay... That video that... okay. That video that Nintendo released of, of, of Bowser... <laughs> seeing Peach transform into an elephant and then going... Yeah! <laughs> and giving her flowers. That was very funny. Whoa. Buster and his commission. What the fuck? Buster Brown again? In my game? <laughs> he does the, like, let's fucking go face. Oh god. 
Oh god. Ah. Uh, sweet baby Jesus. I'm scared. Uh, somebody said that if fires are in a room, that the spider webs will turn black. Oh? Okay. I was like, is there any sort of gimmick here? Look at the pog with my weird little teeth. Or are those eyes? Okay, Gollum's Orb, plus 0.23 shot speed up, plus 2 speed up, 1 luck up, and 2 soul hearts. Not bad. Oh, and they turned into black hearts. I don't know, people like treated me like I was committing fucking blasphemy when I said that, uh... That Mario Wonder basically just looked like New Super Mario Bros. with a fresh coat of paint, but like it basically is, uh, you know, it definitely looks like the level ideas are a little more like wild and out there, and I'm here for that. I'm here for that, and I'm, I'm excited for the game, but I don't know. Hype is such an insidious thing, isn't it? It's so easy to get carried away, I feel like. So one of my fiend hearts just turned into a black heart, I think? Maybe? I don't know. Uh... <sighs> By the way, uh... I think the microphone knocking is just fixed. There's a secret in his death animation that needs a specific item. Funny. It kind of seemed like a special thing. Uh, let's just go into the devil room. Whatever, I'm the fiend. I'm devilish. I'm delightfully devilish. And we're gonna take whatever trash this gives me. Yeah. That would have happened regardless of the room I used it in, actually. Cool. Alright, well, I got the poop for seven cents. I can't remember the last time I took Guppy's hairball. But yeah, the knocking is gone. I literally, last stream, you guys who were here saw it live. I sprayed my headphones with WD-40 until it stopped. Oh god, and now here's a fucking guppy item. Wonder if this does anything with me? No. Well, I got the count for it. I'll just... bonk. See if that devil room's still there? No. Okay. Uh... Have you gone alt path in Fiend Folio before? No, I haven't. Should I do it? Uh, people... People were telling me, like, the first time I streamed this, that, uh, there's a lot of crazy new enemies. And, like, I think... Oh, God. Isn't there, like, an ending? There's some, like, new boss, new big boss in Fiendfolio, right? Or am I remembering incorrectly? There's a new guy right away. Oh! I wonder why that heart blinked out of existence. I don't really know what caused that, honestly. There isn't one? Oh, okay, maybe I'm just remembering incorrectly. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, there's a lock block there, whatever. I have a lot of keys, and that was a lucky penny, damn. Okay, school bag is neat. Of course, I have poop right now, so, you know. But, you know, the poop, the poop does have utility. It actually does. You can make poop bridges. Uh, you can... Well, that's, that's like most of it. <laughs> you can, uh, when, when, if something's over a spike pit, you can, like, brap it out sometimes. God. <laughs> nice. Nice. I love oh, there's a zombie on your lawn. Damn it. Uh, aiming these fire wisps is uh, not the easiest thing. Oh. I thought that was a trinket. I should have known because it didn't bring up the item description. What the fuck was in that? Nothing? Spy it with flies? I okay. Muska. Muska? <laughs> Grants three bombs. Bombs spawn three random locusts when they explode. Enemies have a luck-based chance to spawn a random locust on death. Seems good to me. Yeah. 
No, I've never played Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't really strike me as my type of game. Is there, like, single player in those? I honestly don't even know. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> nice, uh, fuzzies. Oh. Hackers can dox you if you play it. That's, you know, one of the many reasons I will not be playing Garden Warfare. I don't know. I know it's, like, a bit cringe to be like, oh, like, I... I object to this game, good sir, I am a Redditor, and I like the original Plants vs. Zombies, but it just seems that it's just such a, like, mangled corpse of a series. <laughs> like, regardless of if that game is actually fun, or if that series is actually fun, it just seems so cynical. It, like, cynical really is the word for it. Bottle of water. Gulps held trinkets. Okay. That's an interesting item. <laughs> Boom! That, like, stock gulp sound. Opinion on the mob vote, N not as a politic, but just the mobs. I mean, guys, I don't play Minecraft, so I... It's difficult for me to offer my opinion, oh my god. Do the fiendish hearts count? Oh. I'm doing it. I'm on the guppy cope, even though we already saw... I could have had guppy by now if I had picked up the hairball, but whatever. I mean, I don't need to tell you, as a politic, I'm, I'm stuck on that. I don't need to tell you that the mob vote is fucking dumb. <laughs> like, like, what were they thinking? What the f... like, huh? And I've seen some people, like, I, again, I don't even play Minecraft, and when I see people, like, defending the mob vote, I'm like, uh, what are you? Like, huh? All damage taken gives a broken heart instead. Holy fuck, I'm not taking that. That's a nice, like, you know, last resort trinket, though. Like, I don't- I legit don't understand what response they were expecting from the mob vote. And this is something they've been doing for, like, years now. But it's just like, huh? Why- why did they think that was okay? What is the mob vote? Basically, to, and this is just to my understanding, again, as a complete confessed outsider to Minecraft. It's like... They are adding a new enemy or a mob, a new, like, mechanic, basically, to the game. And they make the Minecraft community choose between three of them, and the two that don't get chosen just get tossed in the fucking garbage. Which is insane. They don't care, they want engagement. Got you talking about it, yeah? That's the most, like, surface-level shit. I'm pretty sure... And, you know, call me crazy here. I think the number one best-selling, most popular video game in human history? I think they've already got engagement. I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong there. But I think the literal best-selling, most popular video game ever I think is fine. I- it, something tells me that me talking about it in front of 289 viewers is probably not, like, an epic win for, uh, engagement baiting. Oh god. I just kind of- I kind of hate when people, like, jump in with comments like that, where it's like, Oh, but you got you talking about it. And it's like... Yeah, what- like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, oh, you're not allowed to talk about anything negative ever, because engagement bait is popular now. Um... And the idea that the Minecraft devs did it 
entirely cynically just to piss people off, I think is hilarious. <laughs> it's like, huh? Um... And... Yeah, I, it, it just seems uh, very stupid. Very, very, very stupid. Should I go for the boss? Let's go for the boss. Fuck it. Actually, what was the boss, even? Did I... Uh, it, was it the... No, that was like last floor. The weird flame dude and his entourage. Maybe I shouldn't. Mm. It's just I've, I've got a pretty decent build right now. The one thing is my tears are, are lacking. Oh! Uh, it's not going to have anything in it, though. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> it didn't even put a poop down, what the fuck? Uh, like, obviously the mob vote is really, really stupid. I'm, I'm not gonna fight the boss, I think. I, would it appear in the same spot in the normal world? I, d I truly don't know, let's go check. Solo Samson is super whatever. But it's like, one of the things was like, dog armor, which people have been like, clamoring for since like, Minecraft was released in the first place, right? And then it's like, oh, well, you didn't vote for dog armor, so dog armor is just permanently gone. <laughs> That's what won? Oh, okay. See, I saw that it was an armadillo. This is my non-Minecraft uh, knowledge. But then the thing that got tossed away was the ability to place blocks from further away, which nothing else in the game lets you do. To my knowledge, oh. Shit, did I fuck up because I don't have any bombs? I forget, like, Dross 2, ah. I think I beefed it. The thing to make boats go faster. It's just weird, and it's like such, it's such like stingy behavior. <sighs> I don't know. Like, okay, the vote, yes, getting people to talk about the game, but not in the, I'm gonna actually touch the fire and uh, do some stuff real quick. They don't want negative engagement, they want people to like, oh, we're voting, we're voting, oh, and, and apparently something that's happened with the mob votes in the past is, uh, nice. Oh, that's a key, not a bomb, oh, never mind. Apparently something that happens with the, the mob votes in the past is that just, like, some gigantic fucking, uh, YouTuber will just, like, send hordes of their fans after one specific, uh, Oh god, three. Damn. But they're spicy. Okay, bomb please. Dang. Tears down. Oh, look at that tear stat. That is rancid. Oh. Uh, but apparently, like, gigantic fucking Minecraft YouTubers will just be like, Hey, all my fans go vote for this one thing that I want, teehee. And it's just like, wow, what a awful system. And it's like... You're Minecraft. Like, you seriously can't. The developers of Minecraft can't afford to develop three different, like, mobs. I don't know why I bought that, because it's fucking, it's not even, doesn't even matter. Ah, uh, I'm just sad about this. Like, should I cope and try to find, like, super secret room? What is, oh god, what is blowing this up even? It, I, I really doubt it would give me a bomb. That's one cent, by the way, to use box of spiders. I can just go to the mine's next floor? I, I genuinely, I don't know. I thought Dross 2 was my last chance. It's been a fucking while since I've done Alt Path. Um. Bleh. Okay, whatever. Uh, and then, yeah, and that was, that was me checking for the crawl space that I, like, wasted the bomb. Caves 1 is last chance. Okay, well, I'm actually going to be a dunce here. Because I don't remember what side, because it's mirror. Okay. Sorry, throwing for content right now. Eh, you know what? These keys... No, I've got six keys. I'm fine.
Hey, do we want to talk about Princess Peach discourse too? <laughs> we got mob vote. We got the apple. Uh, let's talk about Princess Peach, huh? Oh my god, when you kill... Was, was that like the smash ultimate, like, end of round sound? Because of the smash trophy item? I, I don't know. Okay, that's a weird... I think that's a fool's gold. Oh, my lord. Uh, is this all fool's gold too? I'm really wasting bombs here, but whatever. No, it is not fool's gold. What happened? Uh, basically, uh, that's a lot of stuff. No keys though, which is kind of sad, but I got two bombs. Uh, oh, fuck you. Whatever. Um, basically, the, the like, the, the Princess Peach Showtime game. Uh, oh my god. Weird. I wonder if, the, what's with those crates that have, like, the keeper's face on them? Maybe those are fool's gold? All these new tile sets are strange and confusing. They, so there was, like, they, they released, like, the cover art for, like, Princess Peach Showtime. Was that the fucking, like, Mothman? And they updated it and very, and I, like, seriously, it cannot be stressed how subtle the fucking change is. Let's, let's bring it up. No, let's bring up the picture. We're, we're in hell, we're in hell. It's, it's straight out of the Sonic fandom. It is, it is Sonic Blue Arms. It is Sonic Blue Arms, like one million percent. It is a Blue Arms Sonic debate. Uh, here's, here's the, uh, here's the change. All right. <gasps> oh, 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 oh no, oh no. That's it. That's the change. Unforgivable. <laughs> but it's uh, okay. The whole thing has got so blown out of proportion because there's literally like five or six like Peach Stan accounts on Twitter that like, you know, where it's like profile picture is Peach. Every single day they post like 10 things about how much they love Peach. And then when these accounts saw this image, they like, like freaked out and are getting like, like apocalyptically fucking upset about this. And everybody's kind of like dogpiling on these like five or six Twitter accounts that are like, that are shocked that they slightly, it's such a subtle change. Like, <clears throat> it's so stupid. But again, it's one of those things where it's like, there's just a small group of like, really outspoken people who are upset about it, and basically everyone else is just going, yeah, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> like, it's getting blown way out of proportion. And it's like, it, it just has such a tone of like, God forbid something slightly change. It's like, oh no, like the first thing, like she looks ever so slightly different from like a, a, the design that they've been using for her for 20 years it's like god forbid something about this franchise change ever so slightly like jesus fucking christ it's a classic like go outside please or, or play another series to get like some fucking i don't know a sense of, uh, perspective on how insignificant this, like, non-issue is. I don't know. Oh, got you to talk about it, Omega Lil. Um... So I, I can sense that they want me to poop bridge here. I wonder... Eh, uh, no. I, I don't think the Fire Wisps, like, have bomb explosions. Oh, but then, yeah. Huh. Uh, my brain is, is broken by this. Uh... Cause, like, if I could put a bomb... Okay, hold on, hold on, no. I'm gonna, like, waste bombs again. <laughs> I 
it worth it? Probably not. And there was probably a better way to do that. And it's a devil beggar, so I, I don't even want to fucking use it. <laughs> My brain is broken. My brain. Sorry, guys. I'm, uh, you can tell I'm pretty rusty at Isaac. Jesus. So, yeah, the, the fucking peach thing is silly. And it's like... It's not even a debate, it's just like a few fucking, uh, an incredibly vocal minority. It, it kind of reminds me of, there, there was this thing on 4chan ages ago when Breath of the Wild was revealed, where there was like this one guy, and probably just, you know, trolling, but there was one guy who kept making these fucking posts on like the video games board on 4chan, about how, like, the English version bedtime story. Um, it was like the American or like the English speaking version of, like, the, the English dub of Breath of the Wild was, uh, th there's like a part where Zelda goes like, Wah! and like cries. And then in like the Japanese version, it's got that super, like, overblown, like, Wah! like scream of like despair and they were like they were like oh yeah i just can't get over how like neutered the dub is and it like it just you just can't t it doesn't get across her like awful like her sense of despair it's just so much better in the japanese version and they just kept going on and on and on and like posting over and over again about this fucking scream in Breath of the Wild and about how the Japanese version has so much more emotion and like heatedly debating people. It's classic, it's Sonic Blue Arms Syndrome. I don't know what it is. It's these franchises that like barely ever change. And then when something changes, it's like, it like breaks people's brains because they've been like conditioned to fear change. I don't know. Okay, bedtime story inflicts all enemies with drowsy. Drowsy enemies will slow down and eventually fall asleep. So it's not like the I'm drowsy pill. Uh, damaging a sleeping enemy deals double damage, but wakes them up. That's interesting. I mean, we're certainly ditching the poop here. I, I like these book tiles, too. Yeah, English voice actors in video games underact. Japanese voice actors overact. Fucking based. And, you know, that's, you know, not... Not... Consistently true, but frequently. I also kind of hate Zelda's voice in Breath of the Wild. Uh, but like, unrelated to her ability to scream in despair. <laughs> okay. The phrase terminally online comes to mind with things like this. Where it's like, man, pick up a fucking football. <laughs> go, go read a book. Uh, no keys. Shameful. I love how I spent all that fucking time and effort trying to solve this like puzzle room, and then <laughs> I didn't even use the devil beggar. He's drowsy. This locust item is great, by the way. The, like, it's like the last thing on the list. Oh, nice, the knockback actually helped a lot there. Saved me my coin. Shouldn't have pinched me coin. Okay, I'll take that. That's a classic. Oh. I think you have more viewers than Salty Bet right now. I believe it. Salty Bet's not the most popular thing. Uh, Salty Bet, I saw... So there's this uh, game, this like used game company called Pink Gorilla. I don't know if they're like exclusive to uh, Seattle or what, but there's a couple locations in Seattle. And one of them, Isabel and I went there the other day and they were on the big screen watching Salty Bet and it was amazing. I really should have gone into the curse room and used the stars. I don't remember when I got this stars card though. It is a stellar stars card. To be sure. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll actually take that. I should have, like, damage boosted out of there, whatever. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, there's a nice item in the shop. Was there a pedestal item? Am I getting the card? How would you know? Is that a tinted box? I priestess run. Yeah, that's a nice item. It was a tinty. Tinted box. Let's blow these up too. I think these are fool's gold. Nice. It's cool seeing all the different, like, tile sets. Somebody w on the last Fiend Folio stream, somebody was like, oh, he's using an HD. I can't shake the feeling he's using an HD texture pack. Uh. We're not keeping that. Yeah, oh my god, Zelda in Breath of the Wild, it's- it's the fucking, like, I have an English accent, Link, I have an English accent. And it's like, shut up. <laughs> like, I wanted- every time she talks, I wanted to shut up, is that rude? Misogyny. Uh, oh wait, uh, hmm. No, I only have one key. I should have taken that spicy keychain last floor. Okay. Let's just go. It's just such a fake, yeah, and it's such a classic, like, fake, like, fantasy property accent. And it's like, why are, like, high elves and stuff always fucking British? <laughs> Whatever. It's like, oh, she sounds more regal. This is gonna take fucking forever. Stone poops existing outside of uh, Tainted Blue Baby, weird. Link. And she's always, it's, it's that like lilting, I don't know, something is extremely irritating about the way Zelda talks in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Ow. Okay. Well, this character is not nearly as challenging as I thought they would be. Maybe it's the tainted version. Nice fucking Hollow Knight enemies. Uh... Maybe it's the tainted version that that uh, has exclusively immoral hearts. Got the fucking bone! Get away from me! <laughs> uh. Oh my god! They threw their heads at me. I I need uh, I, I'm I'm on the lookout for soy milk right now. Okay, it's upside down. Get him. I don't know, like, I don't know what I want Zelda to sound like, but not that. <laughs> it's not that big a deal, it's just she's, like, kind of annoying. <laughs> it's like, thankfully those games aren't too story-heavy. I did like, uh, the, the shit that happened. Zelda's plotline... Oh, tumbleweed? What the fuck? I enjoyed Zelda's plotline in Tears of the Kingdom. It was actually quite cool. It's just her voice is annoying. Okay. And see, that's... There, there's a little lesson in, like, how to dislike something without letting it... Without blowing it completely out of proportion and letting it, like, destroy your world. Like, yeah, I think Zelda's voice is kind of annoying, but I'm not like, It needs to be changed! <laughs> like, it ruined the game! <laughs> oh, cool sunglasses. Holy shit, I think this is probably the most powerful item in the game. Plus six coins, walking near coins grants a speed up. Collecting coins damages all enemies in the room. Upon entering an unoccupied room, three cents are taken from you and strewn across the room. Weird, man. Weird fucking item. I will take it. I don't suppose it does the, uh... uh like, torn pocket thing where it can spawn... It'll, like, drop a penny and spawn it as a dime. 
That'd be too good. Uh, in for a penny, in for a pound, in for a penny, in for a pound. Okay, make him sleepy. My fiends are working hard. The boys in the lab are working hard on beating this boss. Shit, I should have tried to damage him with a coin. Damn it. Uh, it's nice and annoying. Okay. Okay. Squeezy tears, I'll take it. So I want to go... Oh, devil. There's a mausoleum door. What the fuck? Toy piano. Luck affected chance to fire tears that inflict enemies with doom. Oh my god, we can make the enemies doom? Doomed enemies gain a counter that goes down every time they take damage. Upon reaching zero, the enemy takes a large amount of damage, removing the doomed status. Okay, weird. Huh. I guess? He's dooming! Diabolus and Musica. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go do the rest of the floor. Oh. Ah! <laughs> it makes a little musical note. Weird. Uh, the... Fiendfolio is so whack, dude. It's just funny seeing all the, like, insane shit they put in this game. Like, I can't believe how much shit is in this fucking game. Alright, these bony boys need to all die at once. Strewn... the coins strewn about the room, uh... It, can it put them in places that are, like, inaccessible? I wonder? Because that might suck. There it is, there's the dooming. Doom mechanic. <laughs> uh, let's check right here. Okay. I have like pretty good bombs too, cause Mr. Mega plus the like locust bombs, so I'll be generous with my bombing. The Fiend- what am I seeing here? The Fiend Folio devs do not want to make it official? Even if Edmund did? What the fuck is up with that? Weird. I agree that it doesn't, uh... The tone is, like, too wacky. It's- it's, like, too silly. It doesn't fit in with normal Isaac. Alright, I keep my flame things, oh god, and I keep my, uh, locusts. Locust Paul. I wonder if it's still gonna be the, like, Wario slash Pizza Face amalgam. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's so perfect. Like, what a perfect, what an amazing synergy between mods. Oh god, my low tier rate. Go! That was the most deep masculine go I've ever heard in my life. Ow. Uh... The, the spider webs are actually quite the, the bugaboo in this area. It feels like the game's lagging, too, on top of that. Okay, these are bumpers. Oh, God. I thought those might blow up or something. They merely bump. Okay. Oh, God, this is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? But this looks like one of those rooms that has an optional nickel 
challenge, which I am gonna go for because I am a gamer. Ow. That's just to access this ledge. Uh, okay, and yeah, here's the TNT barrel. That you gotta shoot. I'm great at this. It's like the lag and like the low tier fire rate is really fucking me up. Hate to blame it on lag, but it is lagging out really hard right now. This is just a, a fiend folio thing. Ooh, slow game. <sighs> oh shit, time's running out. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> All right. I'm drowsy. fuck is blowing up over there? Oh, I guess enemies. Because they got doomed. Okay. Alright, we're gonna do a classic trick here. Use the power pill. Get in. <laughs> There's my coins strewn about the room, then stars out. So I'm sorry, uh, people were saying that Doomed is a Final Fantasy mechanic? I don't really want that chest. Ah, uh, there's so many places for secret rooms here. That I feel disinclined to check. Ya da 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 da, it's also in Hades. Yeah, my, like, damage is pretty great. I mean, my tears are just awesome, but... It's the... Er, I mean, it's the tier rate, tier fire rate that's bad. Okay. I guess let's go. Curse of the Lost. Nope. Isabel and I have been playing Isaac on the Switch lately. We purchased it on the Switch. Uh, just so that we could, like, play it in bed, basically. And, uh... <clears throat> it's pretty wild playing unmodded Isaac. I mean, there's just a lot of fucking, like, tedium added with not having fast travel. Uh... And, like, we have to start from the beginning unlocking everything. It's pretty neat, though. It's it's fun, and uh, part of the reason why we got it on the Switch... Oh my god, am I really... What the fuck? Oh. Hello. <laughs> what are you? He's dooming. What the fuck? So my black hearts turned into... I guess that's a, that's a thing with the, the fiend. It's like if you don't have any immoral hearts, then just all your health turns into... Okay. That's what I'm getting from this, at least. But, uh, the fucking multiplayer in... Isaac on the PC is, like, completely fucking broken, like, in a bad way. Uh, where it, it just simply breaks a lot and, and has, like, these horrible glitches that, like, ruin runs. Because it, it'll be like, oh, like, your controller disconnected, and now player two and player one got swapped, but their healths, you can't see the health on screen, and the active items got swapped around, and also the game crashed, and it's like, Jesus fucking Christ, how broken it can it get? Uh, but the Switch version, to its credit, we have not had a single issue yet. 
And it's really funny, we like started playing it, and uh... I'm, I'm gonna die, dude. Ooh, uh... Hmm. We started playing it, and on like the first run, we got like 30 achievements. It was insane. <laughs> Because there's just a bunch of, like, stuff where if you're, like, playing the game well, you'll just, like, get a bunch of achievements straight away. I think I'm gonna get this. Oh. I have to re-roll the rocks. Okay. Like, I'm thinking about taking the fuck you. But this this item just has too much utility, I feel like. To just pass it by. Hmm. I, I, I'm not long for this world, I think. What kind of bomb shenanigans is that? Bridge bombs. Grants five bombs. Bombs fill pits when they explode. Well, I gotta get it. My bombs are, like, kitted out right now. Tower. Yeah, give me a black heart. I need it. Yeah, I do still have dead cat. That's true. I don't know why I would use the tower in here. What the fuck? What the fuck is that attack? Uh, it's got like Star of Bethlehem type attack. Fucking weird. What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> Okay, I see. I see now. Oh, Trixie, Trixie. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah! Fuck you! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what a messed up room this is. Jump scaring the shit out of me? Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> Hug. I love him. I don't know why locusts just like spawned there. Cool, cool. Cool two troll bombs. I'm sorry, was that a red chest? It was a fucking stone chest, but it acted like a red chest. Hmm. You're feeling very sleepy. Your eyes are so heavy. Sleep. Oh. Huh? <laughs> I feel like I didn't step on that teleport pad, but I still teleported, but no. Surely I stepped on it. Did this, like, machine in the middle of the room just buff the enemies? They got a big head. Snow globe. Snow globe. Hey, you want to see my snow globe collection? And by that, I mean my nuts. Uh, we've already gone in the shop and the treasure room. Sure, let's... Okay, wow. Wish Blue Baby's best friend would count toward conjoined. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, hold on, I can use... Ah! Ah! I can... Ah! I can... Ah! Okay.
I can use. What a messed up fucking room. I can use my cool bombs. High Priestess, fuck you. Nope. I'm sorry? Oh, right, because I have uh, acid tears. These are made of, like, ceramic? I don't know really why I'm doing this. I, I don't I don't even know what those things do. Okay, we're just gonna do a little uh <laughs> cheating. A little bit of cheating, never hurt nobody. That brain looks so surprised. Ugh. Point oh one speed down there. Oh! <laughs> it's snowing. Uh, become the snow globe. Be the snow globe you wish to see in the world. I'm like, this is a fear stream. No, not F E A R. That's an entirely different series. Oh. Man, Fiendfolio alt path has got hands. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. These are the no shoot tears. Poops. <laughs> oh god. Really? What is killable in here? Oh, do I just need to hit the buttons? Hmm. I'm like creating new enemies. This, I mean, when does this end? Are these like, do I need to have them all dead at the same time? Is that what's happening? I truly don't understand what these enemies gimmick is. I'm gonna die. Hold on, there's like a fucking host over there that's probably like ruining this for everyone. Okay, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, host, 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 guys, I can't read chat. Imagine doing that room and being like, yeah, I'm just gonna glance over at chat. Yeah, I figured it out, guys, don't worry. I wonder what chat's up to. Imagine. Oh my god! <laughs> You're very sleepy! You're very sleepy! Oh, I'm slow. They slowed me down. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Ghost baby! Conjoined! Conjoined! That's not conjoined? I thought I had two other babies. Fuck. Please, Doom. Oh my god, you. Oh. Jesus H. <sighs> Buh. That that's bookworm right there. It basically costs half a heart. <laughs> uh I have one key. Didn't I get... No, I guess I didn't. Okay, hey, that's something. Uh, let's check for some squeak crits. I'm, I'm pretty desperate right now. Another heart. Thank you, sir. I'm dying. Is there a key in here? Yeah. 
This is just the bomb machine. The, like, reroll rock machine. Two more keys, thank you very much. I don't know why I said that. Thank you very much, Mr. Roboto Domo. Oh. Okay, I'm winning. I'm winning. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't even get to see what those enemies did. Seems like they like had a tractor beam and they were like summoning enemies from off screen. Oh my god. My reflected tears are big. Rocky. Oh my god. The Iron Maiden. <laughs> Yeah, those just keep going, do they? Are they gonna, like, jump out at me? <sighs> Power pill and fool card, you say? Time to do my stupid strat. Yep, 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 yo, yep, yo. Someone said, Mis most disappointing day of my life was when I learned that Iron Maidens were never used and were at best a proof of concept. Man, don't you ever think about, like, if reincarnation is real and you have to, like, reincarnate? Oh, I see what this room's setup is. That's funny. Uh, I, good thing I have the pit bombs. Uh, if reincarnation is real and we just have to, like, reincarnate as, like, every living soul that has ever existed, you, you don't want to get put in the Iron Maiden, dude. You don't want that. You're, you're still gonna have to deal with, like, the, the brazen bull or whatever. The fucking, like, brass bull. The fool. Actually, I don't know. I'm no historian. Maybe that's also a, a hokey horseshit one. There's a secret coin. By process of elimination, we knew it was there. Is this blow upable? No, but I have the pit bombs. It's like the pit bombs with the gigantic explosion radius of Mr. Mega is awesome. Okay. Yeah, you gotta do some hokey shit to get those, and I don't even really want them. Okay, here's something. Two cross gaps will be filled. Damn. Not that I exactly want to do that yet. I don't know why I'm doing this. I still don't know why I'm doing that. Hey, can it proc, please? Thank you. Legend goes the Brazen Bull was built, but it was so terrible, the creator was the only one executed in it. Wasn't uh, the guy who invented the guillotine, it was like he was commissioned to invent this like killing machine, and then he ended up being executed via guillotine as well. That's what I've heard, at least. I gotta be cognizant of these charm pots. There's so many like new mechanics that I gotta pay attention to. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Give me the hearts. Give me the hearts. Huh, are these will these like blow up? No. Like, if you need a reason to be, uh, good to your fellow man, 
just just be like yeah reincarnation is real and i will need to reincarnate as this person and if i mistreat them i am mistreating myself okay wow zero cents to use abyss that's not bad but nod leaf is a game winner <laughs> it's a game winner i have this like headless baby I have to take it, it's hilarious. It's a hilarious meme item. By the way, surely some of you have been silently uh, seething in resentment about this. I just realized I have not been using these flame wisps for like the last five floors. I just remembered these exist. Boom. Boom. Doom. It's interesting, sleeping paused his, like, doom timer. There's AVGM. Uh, nah. That's a bad trip pill. Doesn't even fucking work as a heal. I love that breaking these long boxes turns it into half- in, into one small box. That's how that works, yeah. Cool. And I care why. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Oh god. I am put to my death. I am put to my death. Can you kill before I? Okay. Well. Uh, now we have to no-hit this. Oh, wait, there's a heart right in here. Oh, right. I, I don't have a ton of experience fighting Momsoleum. Ow. Yeah, this is, uh... The leaf comes out on the last life, guys. We, we don't resort to leaf strats until we absolutely have to. Yeah, uh, I can go in the boss challenge room now, it's true. Dice Goblin spawns three random objects on pickup. Spawns one object at the start of every floor. Okay. Might as well. Ooh. Puzzle. You. <laughs> I want you. Apparently, if you use the meat cleaver, on this boss, it turns into Loki and Hornfell, by the way. Which is hilarious. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Stop. Stop. Uh, what is this? The next button or key? What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Don't do your bullshit chain move, please. <sighs> the next button or key you press will grant a stat boost whenever it's held down until the next floor. What the fuck? Choose a button. Shit, did I accidentally choose a direction? No, okay. You chose shoot right. Alright, cool. It's not that much of a stat buff. But it just instantly happens whenever I shoot right. Whack. Hold I. Uh, still just one key, sadly. Glass D12. Why was that, like, chipmunk voice? Uh, 
Uh, okay. Holy poop, nice. Uh, that's what it would be like to have good tears. Okay, well, I got a heart out of that. Let's try again. Surely there's, like, better strategy to be used, uh, with this, like, tile, I'm only now realizing, you know? Like, if you hold, like, the left bumper, you can just hold it down and shoot in any direction and have better stats. Fuck, man. Ow. I got cornered there pretty hard. Ow. Ow. Uh. Thankfully we're like recursively spawning a, a there's there's like a fiend heart in here. Uh. Uh. Yeah? Can I attack the boss please? That's awesome. Oh my god. Uh, this is kind of exhausting. This is like the first time I've like ever died to this boss. Ow. Ah, please. Okay, I think that counts. Nope. Mm. I don't exactly know what the tell is between when she's gonna stomp once or three times. I think you kind of just have to, like, assume... Maybe there is a tell, but it seems like you kind of just have to assume that she's gonna stomp three times every time. Okay, I did eventually make it. Uh, I gotta remember to go through the little door here. <clears throat> I, will this proc... How does this work with fiend hearts, anyway? Let's just take it and find out. Okay, I know I'm shooting left, and it's not very poggers, but that's just where I ended up. Oh. I should have just got all up in her face there. Come on, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Oh, okay. We're gonna- we're definitely gonna end up using the fucking Nod Leaf on Mother. <sighs> oh. Very cool. What are you- what are you gonna do? Ah. Arcade, what can you do for me? I've got 50 fucking coins. Okay, hey, not bad. Ugh. Friend. Yep, take them all. Okay. Might dice shard that. Uh... And then the, this guy... I think rarely draws, or rarely drops stuff. Like, these guys are hardly worth it, but it's like... 
I I'm probably not gonna have much else to spend coins on, so I might as well cope. Might as well cope. Cope. I'll go down to like 15 coins. I don't know. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, rotten beggars are little shits. They're not very good. Just give them all away. I learned something recently that, uh... <sighs> Excuse me. Beggars are programmed to... They're guaranteed to pay out after all. They're guaranteed to pay out after six uh, things are given to them, except for key beggars who just don't give a shit and will just theoretically infinitely take your keys. Okay. So, are these teeth? Huh. Okay. I love that this enemy got embedded in the ground and just stays there. What the fuck? I love the experience of, like, walking into a room, <clears throat> seeing an enemy that you've never seen before, and it does some- it just starts doing some whack shit, and you're like, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh fuck. Uh-huh. Nice anime sound effect, dude. Oh, Dragon Ball. Whoa. Goku. A <laughs> whale? Whale. Oh, we're gonna have a whale of a time. Speed up, see old chums. I, I don't understand. Can somebody tell me what's going on with the, the fiendish hearts that are, like, disappearing? What is causing that? Ugh. Oh god, new- Mr. Dead! It's gonna be me in two seconds, eh? Hey, hey, Lamau. Lord of D. I guess I need to get close to him in order to actually fucking do this strat. And the headless baby is not even gonna fucking hit him. Oh no. Come on, headless baby. I, I need you. Looks like Mr. Dead, Mr. Died. <laughs> Classic. Okay. I'm not gonna give any more coins to the fucking guy, whatever. So, I'm sorry, what's going on with the, uh... Killing enemies with your fireballs has a chance to have them drop half a fiend heart, and, the, and those are the ones that are disappearing. Okay. Neat. That's very good info to have. This is what we call a crack shot. Damn. Yeah, sure, I'll take that over the poop. Poop yourself with the coconut gun. Yep, 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 yep. Let's try... Nice. Cool. That's really good to know. That's, that's crucial information for this character. <laughs> Stop. Oh, shit. 
yourself with a coconut gun. Look at these little dudes. Huh. The tethers. Very cool. And it's like moving around because it can't decide where to get placed. This coin item is certainly neat, but it's like the amount of damage it does is so piss weak on later floors. I don't I don't know if it scales, but it doesn't seem like it does. Ah! <laughs> uh can I break these? Doesn't look like it. It's so piss weak on later floors, it just becomes kind of an inconvenience. What the fuck is happening, dude? <laughs> These guys are teleporting all over the fucking place. The lovers? Dad's dip. Hell yeah, dude. Do I actually get the morbid heart? No. But the plus one max heart did give me a uh, immoral heart, so that's fine. Oh, fuck you. Eh, uh, you know what? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> it's like, once you take damage, then you spawn a little fiend, and then they'll... they'll do it for you. Nice. Oh, my familiar... Mi familia... is doing great right now. Look at this. It's a thing of beauty! Yeah. I, I get what you mean. Layer your hearts between purple and black hearts. Yeah, that checks out. Seems like a good strategy. Oh, there's Mr. Dead. Living up to his name. Oh, and my fly is also helping there. I'm just gonna sit here, so... You guys want to talk about Princess Peach's face a little more? Ah... Uh. <laughs> I should have activated the sprinkler. Whatever. I mean, can we all go back to those days when they released that, like, fucking Mario Party 10 render of Peach with, like, the most dick-sucking lips of all time and everybody basically unanim unanimously just went, Hell yeah, dude. That was awesome. What are you talking about? I see some of you are uneducated. It's fine. I'm not actually gonna... I don't want to tab out right now. I'm afraid I'll, like, move for a moment and die. Not that, you know, we have two lives. Sorry, I'm just crunching down some edibles right now. <laughs> Don't mind me. I saw Illusory Wall post something about like, oh yeah, I'm like trying to get this video out before the edible kicks in or something. And somebody was like, that is the most like content creator sentence of all time. Okay. Go get, go get the little spider. Crit. Oh, a crit spied. Alright, I was like, I'm not moving until this door is open. Dude. I should have activated the sprinkler before all that, but whatever. Okay. You want to see Princess Peach's dick sucking lips? Mario Party 10 Peach. Here it is. Here's the render, and it's like ludicrously high uh, detail. Hold on, hold on. We'll have the big reveal. This is not even the highest quality version of this image. There's there's one that's like a fucking like the one terabyte image that's like incredibly detailed. <sighs> But when this render was released, everybody unanimously was like, fuck yeah, dude. 
<laughs> it was really funny. Okay. Whoa, pretty mama. Whoa, mama. Uh, this couldn't be a secret room, could it? I think there was a rock there. And this was my crack shot. Oh wait, maybe at the bottom of this room though? Genuinely though, with this Princess Peach Showtime bullshit, I think, legitimately, I believe this 100% with my entire heart. Oh my god, what's happening? That, uh... If they had just released the second version of the art first and never shown the first version of the art, I'm not kidding, nobody would have batted a fucking eye. There's like something about side-by-side -side comparisons that like breaks people's brains. Where like they think it's so much more of a difference than it actually is. Uh, frame rates. Uh, maybe this is- oh my god, what the fuck. Nice, like, ghosts and goblins level, dude. What the fuck? Are these guys killable? Ugh. I- ugh. Frame rates. In games. The amount of people who give a shit about whether something is 30 or 60 FPS would be, like, 5% the amount that it currently is if it if those side-by-side -side videos didn't exist because of course when you look at those side-by-side -side videos where it's like oh here's 30 fps and here's 60 fps it's like oh whoa a big difference and then but it's like man if you didn't see that side-by-side -side comparison it, you wouldn't like trick your fucking brain into thinking that it's like a huge difference i don't know It's something about the side-by-side -side that really just messes with people, I think. I don't know. Okay. Ow. Well. What the fuck? Scr scrupulous Fingor? Is that, was that what that enemy was? It was pointing at me. Ugh. I should have used Lover's question mark, although Lover's question mark is two soul hearts, I think. So it would have killed me. But maybe I should just use it and then just like get rid of the little fucking life that I have. Yeah, and especially, I mean, we've talked about this plenty, but after 6 PF, 60 FPS, it's like, Truly, who gives a fuck? Like, how can you muster the energy to care about shit like that? Um... So let's... What is this? Little spewer? Eh. Doesn't even count toward conjoined. Lame. Okay... Ooh, me heart is broken. Uh, let's just check here. I have a feeling this might be secret room. Hmm, maybe not. Let's just check with a bomb. Good old-fashioned American bomb. Eh, maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> ah, nothing like a good old-fashioned American bombing. Monka S. Uh... Oh. These stone poops are quite the bugaboo. What are you? <laughs> I think the coin actually helped there. I'm just like desperate for any secret rooms, but... <sighs> here we go, here we go. Please. What's happening? I don't know what you do. Okay. What's this guy from? Is he from Lisa? I truly don't know. Okay, super secret can go get Ben.
Okay. We have some hearts. So I can take a little bit of damage and then, uh... Basically panic and use the, uh... Nod Leaf. Sound good to you? Why is she slowed? Is she dooming? What's going on? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now get right up in her face. Center of the screen. And now we wait. Oh, God. And then the fistula. Oh, no. Oh, this fucking move. Oh, it's gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna bounce around like crazy. Uh... It's like, when it says times one, that means I still have one more life, right? But here's the thing, guys. The fly and my little fiends are hurting her, I believe. Yeah. Oh no, it's this attack? <laughs> That's how you know you're doing shit damage. Uh, funny. I might take control in a, in a moment of safety and, and try to hurt her a little more. It's just that I think if I die and respawn, then it's just gonna make the inevitable future Nod Leaf cheese even slower and more excruciating. Because, uh... Yeah, I, I love the, like, whenever we see that attack, there's always, like, ten people in chat going, Is that real? Do she does that attack? What the fuck is that attack? Yeah, it's like for only when you do truly ass damage. It's like the beast move, where the beast goes under the surface of the lava and, like, spits up a bunch of fireballs that, like, you, you normally never see. Oh, is she gonna get stuck on me? Damn. I was really hoping she would just get stuck. Uh... I'm inclined to just let this play out, honestly. Yeah, and the beast making the four souls, the four souls attack. Fun fact about that attack, the amount of zombies is the same amount of characters in the game? So the implication being, like, is that lore? <laughs> the zombies are the playable characters? That'd be whack if so. You need to see that attack to complete the bestiary, that's funny. Yeah, to anybody who doesn't get what's happening right now, the, the, the Nod Leaf makes me uh, invincible when I stand still. So I have just a few things, I have this like revenge fly and my little fiend hearts are constantly doing damage to her. Uh, passively. So as long as I don't move, I can just sit here and win. Nice. Now that I'm closer, my my boiling baby or whatever the fuck it's called is gonna be shooting tears at her too. Oh, look at this lag! Jesus. Meow 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 meow. Oh yeah! Look at that! Oh yeah! That's hot. Stuck. She's stuck. Oh my god! Please, yes. <laughs> That's so beautiful. I love this game so much. I love winning by doing absolutely nothing. Yes. <laughs> and all the little... The little biff sound effects. Oh, she's so fucked. Oh, you're so fucked. Yeah, get stuck on me again, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, fucking do it. She's like knocking me back and forth into her other attacks. It's so funny. The damage is so ass, though. I, I think these fire wisps don't actually do contact damage, otherwise she would be long gone by now. Nice! Okay. A perfectly legitimate victory for me. Wow. And I even got my cool sunglasses. Nice. Apparently, by the way, another little thing that I learned, and this may well delete the run. We don't know. But hey, I got the completion mark at least. 
if you exit out and continue, the door reappears in a way that seems glitchy and unintentional. And you can go, you know, if there's like a sacrifice room or something, you can go and uh, do other paths if you have that available to you, which is pretty crazy. He's cheating. This is in the base game. It's an exploit. Sorry, I gotta, I, I gotta snort. Hold on. Pause the game, please. Thank you so much. When people ask, sometimes they're like, oh, why didn't you mute that snort? It's because I have to, like, fucking... Sometimes it's like, hit pause, hit alt tab, hit mute, and it's like... I, how about people just hear a fucking snort? still have no idea what those eye enemies are like. I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just like dicking around. I think this will be the only run for today. Uh, yeah, I've been going for nearly two hours. Fiend, pretty fun character, uh, pretty interesting. I was sort of expecting it to be more, how you say, bullshit? But no, it's actually, like, relatively balanced. The Fire Wisps is a weird addition. I, I had no idea that that was a mechanic. But that's something that, you know, if you want to get really good at this character, you probably got to get good at using those to farm Immoral Hearts. Hold on, is that a, uh, Super Tinty? Oh my god. Wow. Extremely rare instance of me spotting a Super Tinty on a tile set that I'm not even familiar with. I'm kind of popping off about that one, honestly. When Isabel and I played, uh... Oh my god. Played Isaac on Switch. We got, like, you know, right away, we got, like, a 15 win streak. Just playing as seven. Is the room complete? These aren't enemies? Huh. Weird. Uh. We got like a 15 win streak right away. We got the Five Nights at Mom's achievement. Like straight away, which was really funny. And, uh. Yeah. And then we started, like, we unlocked Hush, and we started going for Hush and Boss Rush runs, and then we got, like, a negative 15 win streak, like, straight away. It was really funny. It's like, ah, Isaac giveth and Isaac taketh away. Okay, I'm just, like, stalling now. I was kind of hoping maybe I could find a sack room. But, no. Oh, and it did that weird thing where it, like, freezes at the bottom of the room. Okay. Isaac, what are you drawing? Somebody said pretty much all I've heard about that f about fiendish portfolio is that it's unbalanced, but it's been pretty balanced so far. I have also heard people simultaneously, I mean, you know, different people obviously. Some people saying, "Oh, this mod is bullshit, it's way too hard." And some people saying, "Oh, this mod is bullshit, it's way too easy." <laughs> so I think there might be slight balance problems, but I don't know it, maybe in both ways, I don't know. Maybe it all cancels it out. Maybe it all equals out. It's so hard to determine balance and difficulty among like a diverse group of players, you know? Uh, okay. Hey Isaac, sweetie, what's that you're drawing? It insists upon itself. Yeah, it sure does. Okay, well, uh, where's my completion sheet? It's not even showing up, but it showed up when I paused as the character. Weird. Is that just like a bug? Huh. Maybe that's something to do with... Don't I have a mod that makes... Uh... No, I don't think it does. I don't think I have anything modded to do that. Okay, uh, I think we're done for today. Fiend, very cool. Not like my favorite or anything, but certainly neat. It feels very 
Fiend Folio Core. Maybe next time we'll check out Gollum or Tainted Fiend. I think Tainted Fiend is probably a challenge character if I had to guess, but who knows. Uh, fun game, fun mod, still enjoying it. Uh, now, let's go, let's go raid somebody who's Salty Bet, 270 viewers on Salty Bet, and we got 361 here. Suck it, Salty Bet! <laughs> no, I love Salty Bet. Go watch Salty Bet, guys. It's fun. Um, Stir, Team Fortress 2, what the fuck? Starch, I use... Weird. Uh, huh. Uh, somebody, g uh, give me a game. Give me a game that, like, is obscure, but, like, somebody might be streaming. Peppa Pig. I kind of doubt anybody's streaming Peppa Pig. Uh, no, somebody's playing Depart Prototype. It suggested- oh my god. Peppa Pig Lunchbox, who playing Valorant. And Peppa the Hangman, playing Fortnite. How about we go raid Peppa the Hangman, playing Fortnite with one viewer? Actually, no, that's not an English-speaking stream. I kind of- this is not coming from a place of xenophobia. I don't like to send raids over to channels that might not understand what people are fucking saying. Uh... Multiple people saying Noida? Hold on, what was, uh... <sighs> Hylix? Third Strike? Uh, let's go raid somebody playing Third Strike, surely! Somebody's playing Third Strike, right? What the fuck? Okay. Um, there's just an account called Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. No, let's go raid, uh, Logan Arcade. Third Strike Third Sundays at Logan Arcade Chicago. It's like a tournament. It's like a local thing. Yeah, sure, let's go raid them. Slash raid. Guys, I don't think anybody's playing The Simpsons on Nintendo DS right now. I could be wrong. The raid has been created. Okay, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, I think coming up in the week, by the way, I'm going to have a stream where I'm going to play Midnight Mercenaries with German Peter. Any of you guys watch German Peter? It's a strange, unlikely collab, but I think we're going to uh, be doing that. So any big German Peter fans out there can go whoopee. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, and let's go watch some fucking Third Strike. It looks good. See ya.